All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that's how you round up an extra four grand to thank these guys for digging these cars up and getting them over here to Meridian Speedway. Brent, Todd, let's see who's in them and turn them loose. Sitting right here on the front, keep your eye on the number 88 machine, a visitor from the north, Ron Brewer tonight. To the high side, the 33, another Canadian visitor. Welcome Jim White to the concrete jungle. The number two, making the toe out of Clovis, California, Donnie Large Jr. Another visitor from up north, make some noise for the 42 machine of Marty White. Working our way into the north end of the racetrack. The number four machine, the next one we're gonna come across out of Salt Lake City, Utah. He's been quick. Keep your eye on Brian Schaefer. The 21 out of Castle Rock, Colorado. Your pilot is Mike Troop. Getting closer to our north end animals. The number 19 machine out of San Jose, California, Art McCarthy. The 22 machine on the high side out of Prince George, Canada. Make some noise for Richie Larson. Well, they got it all put back together. He's ready to roll. Makes the toe from the great state of California. Keep your eye on Jim Burgess tonight. And your final super modified, getting ready to tear up the quarter mile oval. The number three out of Canyon City, Colorado, Ricky Otts behind the wheel, Meridian Speedway. Are you ready to go super modified racing tonight? Super modified main event. Tommy, we've seen this division at other tracks throughout our years of spectating and covering oh, yeah. racing. So uh, we, we got familiar with these cars uh, at an early age out at tracks like Saga Speedway in California. Mesa Moran. In California. Basically er everywhere. Irwindale. In California. Irwindale, they race there a little bit, very little. Madeira. Uh-huh. Where's Madeira? California, yeah. Oh, I'm starting to see a trend. But for the first time ever, we're here in Idaho, and we see super modifieds. Yeah, we do. This, this is, is probably the most super modifieds that I've seen since I was a youngster. Yep. And that's just because out west in SoCal, there's not a lot of these uh, modifieds, or super modifieds, I should say. Oh. There are a few California drivers, and when I say a few of them, I think that's the entire field that have super modifieds left. But we got them here on this quarter mile at Meridian Speedway. It's going to be a fun race to see. And we, what? We have some California drivers. Yes. Going in out here. So as you heard during the intro for the super modifieds, there's lap sponsorship on top of their purse. So very cool that these drivers, I mean, these, these cars are a handful enough before you even get to the track. And then we've had some mechanical issues, uh, which do pop up with these very intricate, super modified machines. One of them is Nelson, who won his qualifying race last night to set him up pretty well for tonight. Now, he would have had to start from the rear, uh, but one of the fastest guys in the super modified field, broke a motor, had head gasket problems, I'm guessing, uh, from what I read earlier. So that sets him out for the whole rest of the weekend. So he only got to play in the qualifiers. That's a bummer. But we got the rest of the best on track for these super modifieds. Racing sometimes does that to you, doesn't it? Yeah, very humbling where you can be the, the fastest and then be out very next day, less than 24 hours. So you heard the field, we're getting ready. We're getting them lined up. We might do a warm up. Here's my question, how brave is this photographer? Braver than I am. Way braver than I am. Burgess going up to the front. 
I was confused, and now I get my answer. Basically, uh, I thought that they did a full invert. And oh. the fastest, or the qualifying winners last night got, uh, unfortunately, won their qualifier and then started in the rear. However, Burgess is proving that wrong. So Wait. they moved. Yeah, go on, go on. Sorry. They moved one row up. Burgess' row that he ran in his qualifier all stay the same. However, uh, Nelson's row moves up a spot. Are we near the ocean? Uh, not that I know of. Because I see seagulls. That's the uh, cats in the city. Flying cats. That's terrifying, the idea of that. It is. Super Modified's on the track, 40 laps, and we're going to do a little bit of a warm up. the wall goes the 22 yeah. down the back straight away he climbed the wall just a touch it looks like he either got it crossed up or this poor team has just been trying to make it at this point <laughs> they've been fighting to get to the main and might have taken themselves out i don't see any significant damage however these cars do not take the walls very well that's the 22 of richie larson and I'm looking, you can see the white marks on those tires. He might have gotten lucky. Might just need to get a push. The way these walls are, Tommy, grooved at the bottom makes them a little bit more forgiving on these cars when they do get into them lightly. Yes. If you get into them heavily, whole different story. We'll give you a comparison, lightly, Heavily. <laughs> Don't know if uh, the car in front of the 22 started backing it down. I went to look at a replay. And yeah, I caught no. the tail end of it. Yeah. So we wouldn't have been able to tell. But he's just going to race backwards now. He'll hit the other side to make it even. Well, they're going to have to, yeah. So they're going to route him through the pits. Pit area along the back straightaway of the racetrack. Now, Tommy and I keep getting thrown off thinking that there's some pits behind us yeah. because there's a tire shop. There's a tire shop that's been doing all sorts of stuff. They're closed for the day. Yeah. Hey, so uh, you ready to go racing with Super Modified stuff? I am. Flagman is running. He's running away. I don't think he's happy with uh, the 21 and the 19 need to switch spots. Well, let's while they do that, I'm going to pay attention to how this goes. 22 is getting ready for a push. So it is 40 laps. We heard that there was a debate going on if they were going to actually run 40. <laughs> 22 back on track. So great news for Richie Larson. And now it's probably a uh, of go to the pits, either change the tire, which I don't think they did. I think they just gave it a quick once over to make sure that the yep. wheels weren't going to fall off. Well, Tommy, the, these fans have been great out here. They have been. They're all up on their feet for the Super Modifieds. It's been a while since I've been here to Meridian. It's been a while since we've seen Super Modified racing, and we get the one to go this time around. Yeah, it's been a while since... We've seen racing here now. Now, now is why well, should they super modify it? Now is the time for this photographer to chicken out. He is braver than I am. Chicken It'll be Ron Brewer 
And Burgess bringing the field to the green. 40 laps, super modified. Not a great start for the four. Lost a little bit on the get-go there. The four machine, Jeffrey, uh, Brian Schaefer, he's had some issues where that car's got to warm up and then, oh, contact. That's wide in the 42 and McCarthy in the 19. They almost do it again. The 42 of White, we saw him win at Tucson in the vintage sprint, but trouble for the 32. Burgess up the track and to the pit. Your second qualifying race winner last night having problems. And that just allows Odds to inherit the lead in the number three. So tough break for Burgess in the 32. Would, I, would you be surprised if I told you we've already gone six laps? That's how fast these cars are. They're fast. Well, your leader, way out ahead. There he is. Donnie Large in the bright yellow number two. Closing in on Schaefer's number four. This is a battle for fourth. Kind of a mess going into the turn, and this is in front of your leader. Three, Three wide. wide. Here comes the three. Otz doesn't know where to go. Ricky Otz, he's gonna choose to, to let them sort it out before he gets to it. And they did, Tommy, but when you have cars going at this speed, the, dis the, the difference yeah. between the fast and slow, just, it's exponential. All right, here you see 33, four, and two. That's third, fourth, and fifth. Battle through lap traffic, the 33 of Jim White. Ryan Schaefer and Donnie Large, third, fourth, and fifth. And the 22 of Richie Larson, who had problems on his warm-up lap, is starting to close into this battle as well. Lap traffic again for your leader. This one giving him a little hard over time. Turn number one, Large to the inside, looking on Schaefer. Large looks low, takes the line, and gets around Brian Schaefer. And st still lap traffic for a leader to make this cameraman oh, go wow. Can't get around the 19. Hey, Tom, is this allowing your second place car to close in at all? No. No, if your second oh. place is stuck in lap traffic as well. In fact, this is a battle for second. 33. If Jim White moves up to second, but he's trapped. What a save out of turn number two. And that allows the 88 of Brewer to go back into the second spot. But here comes White down low in the 33, and there's traffic up ahead. Oh. And contact. 23 to go, and oh, climbs over. And Large, nope, Large doesn't take it. Wow. And this is allowing your leader to close up. Your leader's going to lap the field. Oh, my goodness. There's the leader in the three, the silver. And the Appreciate. 22, of Richie Larson. Oh, he gets into the four. I've never seen so much contact yeah. in one of these races. Now, these guys are going to be very hard to pass for your leader. Uh, you say that, Watch. and I think you're right. <laughs> So sixth place runner, the 22, Richie Larson, he's at risk of going a lap down from the three of Ricky Otts. Who says you can't beat and bang with open wheels? I thought, I thought it was something that Isaac Newton said, but he, you gotta be wrong every once in a while. Newton knows nothing, man. And problems <laughs> for the 42 of White. So Marty White, he's 
waving his hand. He's going to the pit. Trouble for the driver that we saw win at the turkey shoot at Tucson in the vintage races up there, traveling from Canada to come play in Idaho. And Ott's closing in on the four. That's fifth place runner. Closing on everybody. Ryan Schaefer, fifth place, going a lap down. Oh, in the wall. And trouble for Large. He spins it out. Wow. Into turn one and everybody wow. avoiding. Caution flies with 15 to go. Oh my God. That was a moment. There was a lot going on in that moment. I, I, th we that, almost lost your leader. We almost lost half the top five and half of them were a lap down. There was a lot going on, like you said. See a replay of this one, holy cow. I think that leaves us, I think, with three cars. So there was, yeah, a squeeze going into turn number one. The driver's getting desperate, knowing the leader was right behind him. Let me look back at that one. Let's look it down in slow motion. So you'll see Schaefer into the wall right there. And then and look at this, into the turn. Yep. That squeeze. And anytime that car rotates to the right in front of the pack is recipe for disaster. Could have been much worse. And thankfully, all it was was a recipe for a caution. Well, I'll be danged, Tommy. Super Modifieds. So, I think we have two cars, three cars on the lead lap. Back yeah. to live here. Yeah, I'm wondering what the two was thinking. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we got two push trucks out on track. The 22 stalled down the back straightaway. And then it's just a terrible time to have a two in your number. It was large. You can see that right front. <laughs> All the Hoosiers worn off of it. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're doing a three-point turn. Yeah, we are. Super modified three-pointer. They might have missed the gap that they were shooting for. They definitely got the uh, pull. They did get the log. Now, Jeffrey, you're pointing this out, how the phone lines or the power lines run right through the track. Yeah. When we say here at Meridian, if you've never been here, when we say that this track is in the middle of town, we are literal. Well, again, all right, so That's the possible. caution's out, so let's watch some more racing. So this guy probably thought you were filming him. Yeah, I am. This is Main Street right here. We are standing on top of Main Street. If this was Saga Speedway, it would be Soledad. If this was Disneyland, it'd be Main Street. Yep. Every now and then a car will honk as they drive by to let us know that yeah. they are a race fan and they're on their way in. It looks like someone's already getting ready for their tires. That's right. <laughs> They're mount that's probably a bomber that's just blew out a tire. It's probably the 55 bomber that's already ready for a new set. <laughs> Hopefully it's the 47 street stock. Donnie Large fired back up. 15 laps to go. So lap traffic probably will come into play again. Not not to the extent that we saw last time, but Tommy, if uh, I don't know if time and scoring is updated yet, but it looks to me that we have three cars on the lead lap, at least. Uh, and we're sitting one car through the dirt. <laughs> we're just having all sorts of fun right now for this one. All right, Tommy, we're going racing here in a lap. 15 laps to go. You were asking about how many cars are on the lead lap? Yeah. Three. All right. Actually, the there is a car in third on scoring in 
It doesn't even exist on track. Oh. It's just the waiting for data car. It's invisible. Here we go. We're racing. I apologize. Five cars are on the lead lap. Five. Yep, five cars. Is this supposed to be happening? I don't think it is. No, 33. That's Jim White in third. Having problems, Jeffrey. Do they have a tire down possibly? No, it's from the motor. Oh, yeah, you can see the fluid there coming from the breathers. Good thing that photographer wasn't standing there. And you can smell the oil, Jeffrey. Possibly burnt up a motor. As your leader, into turn one and two of the three of Ricky Otts. This car has shown speed all weekend. Never really had the results to prove it. Looking pretty strong right now. Nobody around, he's all by himself. Has nine to go at the strike. Well, lap traffic's gonna come into play, but no one's there to... <laughs> Capitalize. Well, maybe. This is going to get pretty thick. Look at all the cars in front of your leader already. Seven laps ago, we restarted. So that's Brian Schaefer. Oh, boy. In the four car, fourth place runner. At risk of going a lap down. And he's going to try to keep Oz behind, but he's going to have to let him go. Ott uh, threw it into the corner. So three cars remain on the lead lap. I don't imagine Ott is going to close into the two of large to put him a lap down in the third spot. I just don't think he's running. I think they're both running such a lap time where it just won't happen in the next four laps. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> Three to go for Ott. Well, there's going to be lap traffic for the two also. That's true. Yeah, the three's there. <laughs> White flag waves this time by, though. Is Oz going to cut him a break? He can see third and second out from ahead. And Ricky Oz going to cut him a break. Through turns number three and four of the three of Ricky Oz's checkered flag and the 40 lap super modified main event. There, the last lap had him locked up going across the start finish line. Ron Brewer second, Donnie Large third after his spin near catastrophe into turn number one. I think the 33 just went for the uh, photo op. I think so. Just basking in the sun. Brian Schaefer fourth, Art McCarthy in fifth in the 19. Rounds out the cars remaining on track. Running at the end. Running down a dream. All right, we're going to send it down track side. That was fun. By the uh, memoriam to uh, JP and uh, the 50 lapper plus $333.33 to each of those guys from our friends at the Super Modified Reunion uh, Facebook group page. So thanks, everybody, for making that happen. Brent Artie, track side. We're going to chat with your podium finishers here for the JP Memorial Super Modified Reunion 2019. <laughs> I had to think about what year it was for a second. Up on top, Ricky Otts, the number three, your main event winner tonight.
Main event winner, the JP Memorial. We have the family up here. You've got the hardware on the hood. Tell you what, thanks for coming out, making the tow just for the uh, Super Modified Reunion. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you run this thing, and uh, you're going home from Rudy and Speedway, 40 lap main event winner tonight. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. It's good to get to race somewhere where the fans are so enthusiastic. Uh, I'd like to thank Meridian Speedway and Dan Breach for having us here, it's great. Um, I actually got this car to go run back in the Midwest because there's just that, not that much super racing out here. Uh, so I've got to travel. Right. You got to make the tow. Well, I tell you what, fans, are you appreciative of these guys making the tow tonight? No, I appreciate it. Thank y'all for coming out. All right, we're going to send all these fans to you after the races. We kick open the gates. They're going to come chat with you. Murray Speedway, one more time. Your main event winner tonight. Ron, how you doing, buddy? Come up here. Let these folks see you. Good run in the 88. We had a little bit of everything out there tonight this weekend with the Super Mods. Tell us where you come from, bringing this beautiful piece of machinery down here, and you're sitting on the podium on a Diamond Cup Saturday night. Uh, I'm originally from the UK and then uh, moved to Canada and currently living in Kelowna, BC. All right. Do you do a lot of Super Modified racing up there? Or where, where, where do you have to go? We know that Ricky has to do some towing. What about you guys up there? Uh, I normally race with the vintage guys. This car's 40 years old. And this is the first time I've ever run with the wings on it. And you rolled in second spot. Thank you so much for coming to Meridian, Idaho. Meridian Speedway, give him a big round of applause. Ron Brewer tonight. California. Donnie, how you doing, buddy? A great run for you. We we're watching you make a move through the field. Definitely had something for him. A little spin there, and you still got yourself right back up onto the podium. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Who helps you out? And welcome to Victory Lane at Meridian Speedway tonight. Uh, thanks. You know, after the little bit of contact down there, something bent in the front. And uh, I was hoping to run him down, but this thing just wouldn't turn as good after that. Um, I got to thank Sanger Tire, JMC Drywall, my family. Uh, it was fun. Get to come out here and race cars, you know, so... We like that, and thank you to all you fans. This is awesome. Uh, back home in California, this is dying. So to come up here and play, let's go. All right, I'll tell you what, buddy. That family right up there is going to make dang sure that one year from this weekend, you guys are welcome back, and we want to see the number two back here in the concrete jungle. Meridian Speedway Super Modified Reunion, the JP Memorial. Give all of your drivers a big round of applause. Tell a performance.